the smaller scale that you see here, these Queen Anne's lace, um, are relatively uh, not that harmful. Some people can have an aller allergic reaction to them, but a thing like uh, giant hogweed, you're looking at a plant that is roughly uh, six meters tall. Um, it has a, a flower head that's almost a meter wide. It, the plant is six meters this tall? This plant itself is six meters tall when it's full grown. And the leaves actually are sharp, uh, three points to each leaf, and uh, they're very indented and they're quite large. You're looking at a, a leaf this big. Important to know because giant hogweed can cause serious burns. Um, it's not the, the plant on the outer side that harms you. It's actually the sap that's inside of it, whether it's on a leaf, on a stem, anything like that. If you go up and you break that stem, and what is the sap gets on your skin. And once the sap's on your skin, it actually removes your UV protection. And uh, we call it photodermatitis uh, sensitivities. And so once your UV is removed, um, the sun uh, will be able to actually burn and affect and cause those, those welts and that sort of thing. So the longer you're exposed with that uh, sap on your skin is the, the greater burn you'll get. Those who are sensitive could also be affected by Queen Anne's lace and wild parsnip. Well, giant hogweed has been reported, spotted and verified here along the Don River in North York as well as along these banks, both areas here just north and south of Finch Avenue. The city has actively been trying to eradicate this invasive species for five years now. Parks, forestry and recreation staff said in a statement that they are seeing a decrease in hogweed population and that staff routinely monitor parks and green spaces for hazardous and invasive plant species and take action where necessary. So the best thing you can do to repair it would be to um, cover it uh, with a, a cloth, some your shirt, whatever, something like that, to protect any sunlight to get it. Get home, wash it, uh, or to a hospital, something like that, clean it off the area, and just protect the skin. Once you clean it, if you still feel worried, then definitely go to a healthcare pr practitioner. Well, there is an app that actually tracks and verifies sightings of these invasive species. If you spot giant hogweed, you can report it. Find the link by going to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.